Hello, everybody, and welcome to Firewatch. It's been a while, it's been a while that I've played a new game that just came out in a full Let's Play, so I'm planning to play a full Let's Play of Firewatch. A lot of people have been saying that it's a really good game, and everybody's playing it, so it's kind of interesting in playing it way before everybody started talking about it when it showed up a couple, uh, like a year back, or at, at this E3, I saw it, and I thought, wow, that game looks cool. So, um, let's check it out. I, I like these games with a good story. So, here we go. Campo Santo presents. I haven't. I don't know what they've done. Panic Inc. I haven't heard of these companies um, before. I'm recording. Okay, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. So in the past. You see Julia. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> gotta click. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drinking. Oh. Uh, so, uh, what's your uh, major? <laughs> you slur the word and smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, and I'm a professor. Oh, cool. What's yours? She said. Uh, she's just air toxicology. <laughs> what is, what's that burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later. What? That's crazy. Oh. Oh. Backup. Backpack. Hey, nice. I got a backpack. Am I still drunk? Do I have a tattoo? Oh, do I? Hello, it's my truck. And look at that. This game is nice looking. I like the style. Everything is stylized. <clears throat> you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. <laughs> is that great? You move in, you share an apartment near the school. You, you two drink beers on the jack. You drink beers. It's about anywhere. Life is good. <laughs> Julia wants to get a dog. You don't. <laughs> There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also intimidated, gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen while it's... Beagle. Let's get the beagle. It's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. Yeah, get the beagle. He's a nice dog. 1979, you walk out on the... Deck. It's summer, 9:30, uh, what? 9:30 p.m. and the heat still radiates out the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying, if you and I have some, a couple of idiots. That would be. I don't know. One day. Why the rush? Uh. Well, what, what age are we now? What? Uh, I guess, uh, that would be pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Cause it... <laughs> oh no, something happened to Julia, though. It sounds like. Theo Fair Trailhead. Okay. It's, uh... That. Fire danger. Oh, it's really high today. Prevent forest fires. You don't look like Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Knock off Smokey the Bear. Okay, what, what, what have we got in our truck? Nothing. Is a tire? What if we need more than a tire? Okay, let's check out the map. Supply drop. Why is that marked? Okay. Two forks look out, five miles. Okay, cool. Northeast, southeast, national forest. Uh, 1979. Okay, nice. Uh, learn to live with bears. There's the bears around this area. It's not, not recommended for inexperienced hikers. It's permitted to make sure to be here. No firework. Do not forget to check in. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
it's uh, Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you worried and getting angry by the minute she walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun. You fight when she gets between the sheets, yet you ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She said it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Huh. Um. Wonder. So you're probably middle 30s right now? You pose like and flex like He Man. You frolic like a sea <laughs> No. He Man. You look awesome. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Alright. This tree looks very dangerous. This should not be here. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> Alright. Wait a second. Do I have everything? Yeah. Oh, that did. Yeah. And then it's... Wait, what, what do I have at? Oh! Can I, uh... Am I still recording? Okay. Cool. Alright. Let's keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Walking down the street. Two forks. Fire lookout. Eight miles still. Space bar. Oh, look at that. It's very hot. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. B -b oh no! Bucket gets kicked! Scare him away. Scare all three. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Oh, no. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is Connecticut, 2,000 miles. It's a great job. It's a social department. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes. But back and forth. Uh... You ask her to, you don't want to move, to, but she'll say that, but she'll do it if you, you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if she wants. She agrees she flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia's sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a cloudy for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, she, she was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk so, to someone about it. You make one. Uh, I think you gotta get help. After seeing multiple doctors and many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering for early onset dementia. Ah, oh, no. She's 41. to pick up my journal oh okay uh, oh that's the uh, bucket's gonna all do comments that's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house a week later she goes back to the university fiction gets worse she can't remember things in class her research is in Sam she drives her car to the next town over no and she has to be brought home from the place. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Ah. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. 
They tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten your day. She gets worse. Spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds from the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple... You, uh, full-time care society of the they're not very nice, so you got Take care of yourself. If you if you really want them to be taken care of, okay, huh? Okay, we were facing this way. I thought we could have had to jump that way, but apparently not. Wonder why I'm in this forest. Oh, it's a cave-in. Uh, here to go. There you go. Oh, up here, this way. Hmm. Wonder why I haven't seen too many animals yet. Oh, that that's wonderful. That's just. <laughs> It's totally normal. <gasps> it's a deer! Oh, no, no, no. Don't go away. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Uh, oh man, both are bad ideas. Why don't you just not go out? Oh. You go to the same part of the boring end as you, over time, you tell us you led the bartender everything. It's a huge weight off your home and couple nights a week you look forward to those nights one night you stopped at the DUI you blow ah considered trying to hide it but you tell your sister-in-law Susan Julia's parents take the next plane they can't believe the state your house is in the tell you don't argue you say you visit a few weeks ago summer's coming and you see an ad for a job you take it oh okay is it in the forest by yourself <clears throat> Enter the lookout tower. Okay. Am I the lookout? Okay. This is... Did I... Uh... Okay. Oh, those are flowers. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go, game. Let's go. Uh -oh. What's around here? Anything else? I don't see anything else. Oh, there's no sprint button in this game. Oh, I can see my feet though. Oh, propane tanks. That That's nice. I wonder why those are there. Propane. Uh, okay, here we go. Turn on the power. Generator. Turn it off. Hello, I'd... Two Forks Tower. Pick up the radio. Hello. Why do you pick it up like that? Uh, hold left ship. Hello. Um, hello. Whoever this is. <laughs> okay. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me. People take this job to get away from something. So what's uh -oh. wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever oh. it is you're doing right now. <laughs> you take a stab at what's wrong with Boom. me. Fine, then can Time. I... Want some water? Sleep forever? Coleman? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead.
Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. Huh. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. <laughs> to the job. Oh, okay. I think I put the wrong answer. <laughs> she thinks I'm a jerk. <laughs> oh, I am writing a book, though. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with oh, the job. Oh, no, put it There's back. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? We use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. What, what? Um, language. You, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language. Lady. Where are you? Out your oh. west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, west. Which way is west? Are those fucking fireworks? I don't see it. Oh, and to compass. West. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. Uh -oh. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. All right. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. Oh. It's actually that for all of them. Uh, wait. Uh, let, let, it's, okay. Okay, I didn't even answer. Okay. Uh, I'm right there. I need to get to west. Can't see. Okay. Gotta face west. West. West? West? To Jonesy Lake. Lake. Lake Trail. Where is. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's the right way. Here we go. We're on an adventure. Then the map. I don't need the map. I don't really need the compass either. Right, I'm going to walk with this walkie-talkie. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I hope this isn't too long. Well, hello, forest. Is that a piece of grass? Stop those kids. Gotta stop those kids. Oh, boy. Yeah, you keep on telling me that, game. What's that sound? God damn, kids. Oh, there's a the cache. One, two, three, four. I found the supply box. Great. One. Two. Three, four. There we go. Need. What is the pine cone doing there? Your Nola bar. I'll take the rope. Okay. Was that note? Hey man, couldn't take it, so I locked up the log and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Uh, hiking into the park, but let's. Dave. 
Ron and Dave. Who's Ron and Dave? Copy information. Okay, and I'm gonna take that granola bar. Uh, yeah, sure. No, wait, that's not for me. Let's just put that back. That's not for me. That's for Ron and Dave. I'm not one of those guys. Am I? I forgot my name. I don't know who I am. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can I lock this back? No, I can't. That's late. Okay. I, I wanted to be a responsible person. Okay. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Oh totally gosh, that's fucking crazy. cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. All right. Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not going to pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Oh, man. This is a bummer. Oh, great. It's a fork in the road. Where's my map? Okay, yes, I know game. Uh, wait, which way? I'm gonna go left or right. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's a medicine wheel too. I'll, I'll, I'll probably come back to that if I have a chance. I don't know what kind of game if I'm gonna get to freely explore as much as I want to, but uh, we'll see. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Finally! Game! Thank you. I wanted to run a long time ago. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Okay. Christ, lady. Weirdo. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorca Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. <laughs> no, no, oh. no! Ah! Oh, that's terrible. Should I, should I, should I tell him? Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Cripple Gulch got me. <laughs> Cripple what exactly Gulch. happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Think you'll have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Okay. Exploring later. Report meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. 
I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Alright, gotta keep on going. Keep on going. I like the dialogue in here. Very nice. What's that? Two backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Stomp out your fire. No more fire for you. Stomp it out. Is it not... Is it stomped? Can't tell. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Hmm. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. All right. Confiscate. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. I wonder if it's stomped out now. I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> What, you don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Wait, I, I, I just remembered I didn't have subtitles on. There we go. That helps. Uh, oh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, yeah. Uh, should I just drop that? Yeah. Uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? I don't <laughs> want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> what? <laughs> She's mean. There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off I the just got here, lady. do your job. Why can't you, okay. uh... Yeah, nasty. <laughs> you goddamn kids! I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. What am I supposed to do? Oh. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? Can't even see him. Yeah. Oh, hey, put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down! We won't light anymore! This guy's creepy, Chelsea. Hey, just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? How also, am I? Setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's, it's illegal. illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so I work bogus. here. You're gonna pay for that. Can How? Just get out of here. Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Why don't I just tell him that I work here? Can I can I turn that off? I want to turn it off. Hey, that go okay? 
Uh, it's done. It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Hey, you're welcome. Well, their underwear is still strewn all over down here. Well, it is a particularly warm evening. Not sure I blame them. So they just left their stuff down here, but it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake, right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. <laughs> if you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great, okay? They drank a lot, though, for two, two, two ladies. So let's see what's up here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, map. Let's check the map. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, we're over here. Cripple Gulch. There's another cache right there. Five Mile Creek. Uh, Medicine Wheel. I kind of want to check out Medicine Wheel because that looks kind of interesting. Um, uh, got pears, pears, pears! Yes! Are you okay? You didn't just have a stroke, did you? No! Do you smell burnt toast? <laughs> <laughs> no! Then what then? I'm doing a crossword and I oh. figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, oh. pears, pears. The clue is couples peeling fruit. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. It's not kind of afternoon. It's kind of turning to nighttime, but okay. Um. <laughs> I work here, though. Come on, man. That. Yeah. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. West and... west then. Okay. But... what if I don't want to? I want to explore. Alright, uh... let's, uh... Ugh. Okay. West towards the lake, north towards the canyon. Okay, I gotta go down Thunder, Thunder Canyon, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. Gosh. Lame people. I go this way. I wonder if they're gonna burn down the forest. That'd be mean. Just to get back at one guy. Just for fireworks. I don't understand how people can say mean stuff about other people that they don't even know. It's like, oh, yeah, they said so much mean things about our guy. It's like, okay. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Ooh, interesting. Uh, what, what is, is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, oh. you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Aww. Anyway, let me know when I'll you get back to, you. to your lookout. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what happens if you, like, don't even talk to her at all. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's uh -oh. bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. <laughs> that's nice. Good. 
I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. safe. It's not gonna strike twice, all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Dang, bro. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. <laughs> killed him. Suicide. Would oh. you believe? Well, uh, that's, that's sad. What's in here? Can I get some more, uh, stuff? Copy some more information, bro. Uh. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Ah. Yeah. ah. Oh! There's a horn, horn or here. antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay. Uh, okay, that's nice. Oh. What's in this cave down here? Under. In Thunder Canyon? Yeah. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! <laughs> It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another another lookout? lookout? They go in, they never come out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. This cave is gated off. Uh -oh. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. <laughs> Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. No. Oh, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Oh, my name's Hank. I bless the rains down in Africa! Oh, isn't that a song? Oh. Okay, let's look at the map. If I go north, what happens if I go north? Do I ever... Do I ever... Could I ever meet up with the lady? Oh dang, it's getting so dark though. All right, cool. Because that cave would bring me back to my home base. I don't want to go there. Let's go somewhere else that I haven't been. I wonder what happens if I find a bear. Yeah. Okay. Two forks. Great, I've been. Keyboard. Keyboard. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh. And stupid me. Okay. Uh. Uh. Man, that thunder sounds dangerous. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, well, what's going on here?
Thoroughfare, fire, lookout. Okay, sure. Let's go that way. What is that? Oh, it's a light a pole. Alright. It's, it's on the map here. Uh. Alright, let's go this way then. Can I put this down? Okay, there we go. Are they gonna make me? Ah, oh, I'm stuck now. Okay. Can't go this way then. Let's go this way then. Let's try uh, this way. See so if they're gonna let me do this way. What's this? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I found an old notepad of, uh,. <laughs> I guess songs. Someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the tea. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking you off to the woods. I can't wait. Du -du 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 -du. No ass, no grass. Okay, that's interesting. Hands are nude. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a house. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Uh oh. Could be horrible. Oh! Oh! I was not expecting that. Got, uh. We got all messed up. It fell to some fire. Oh, guitar! Oh, too bad. Can I keep it? I want to keep it. Uh, uh, he just throws it back. Wonderful. Oh, oh. God. <sighs> that damn squirrel. Not good. I think I might have just gotten rabies. <laughs> Go on. I, I'm sniffing around an old lookout and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? No. I, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Uh, apparently. Ooh, hawks rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing. What, what do you mean? I just like to stay out of haunted places myself. <laughs> Tell me about this okay, haunting. Go on, out with it. You want to hear about Raccoon Carter? <laughs> <laughs> raccoon so, Carter. some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. The story was he lost his life savings betting on horse fights. Horse fights? Horse fights? Wait, what? In Mexico. So he did what a lot of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. His first night in his That's lookout, an interesting there job. was a break-in. And the break-ins didn't stop. What? Finally, one night, he awoke to find someone in his lookout. He reached for his hand axe and threw it at the figure. And just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice crying. Oh. No! What was it? A raccoon. Oh, of course. See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and uh oh, well, Carter was hungry. He ate so the raccoon. He, anyone would do. he skinned and ate it. Eventually, Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. I bet this is good. One night, as he sharpened his raccoon blade, there was a scratching at the door. He looked towards it, and again heard a tiny voice. Help! 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 He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and of course, nothing was there either. So, startled, but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting, and for the first night in months, came up empty. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then, 
A figure appears wait, wait, at what? the edge of the bed. Why did, Again, he what? reaches for his axe, but in its place did is another figure. It just he looks for the door and there turn are into more cinematic mode. <laughs> Beady, glowing eyes peering out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified, slips and hits his head. And before he can get up, he feels hundreds of little fingers and razor-sharp teeth digging oh. into his skin. Far away in Bighorn Tower, the lookout reported hearing a voice echoing through the valley. Loud at first, and then smaller and smaller until they faded away forever. Oh, she's a good storyteller. <laughs> Help! Help! And that's the story of Rackin Carter. His ghost still wanders through the valley, moaning, Help! Help! on hot summer nights. So, if Raccoon Carter died, how do we know the story? How do we know the story? They found his body ripped to shreds by raccoons, and and Hawk's rest was filled to the brim with raccoon pelts. It's probably what caused the fire. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Does anything, Henry? <laughs> You're funny. Oh, there's a bed in here, and from the looks of it, it's where the fire was the worst. Is she gonna reply? Oh, there's an old guitar in here. It's burned up, but it's still intact. Can I keep it? Is she not gonna reply? She's she's not gonna reply? Oh, uh, come on. Keep this guitar. Oh, snap! I'm I'm keeping this guitar. I'm gonna take it through the whole game. Even though they're not gonna let me. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, he got trapped it. <laughs> uh, one, one. Okay, 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 there. This is easier than what I was doing before. I was using the mouse. There you go. Boom. Open. What we got? A hat. Oops. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Yep. Uh, can I keep it? Uh, uh put the guitar in the, in the cache. Put the guitar in there. Put the guitar in there. Oh, there it goes. There we go. I, I replaced it with a guitar. There we go. Okay, let's see what our map says. Did we get to a, a dead end or something? Hawk's Rest. Apparently we did. Let's check out how long. Okay, so uh, I guess that's enough for today. Uh, uh, thank you for you guys for watching this episode. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I'll see you guys in another episode. Goodbye.